keep together. Well, they shine together and separately, both on and off the stage. Welcome West Orange residents and residents of the world, Vic Juris and Kate Baker. I'm so excited to have the both of you on. There's just all of a sudden more talent than there ever could be in one place, you know. And you take me out and it'll be even more. I just dilute it a little bit. Vic, you're a, a legend, you know, and it, it's interesting. As really one of the premier jazz performers in, in the world uh, from a commercial perspective here in the United States. For the most part, we haven't caught up to, to Europe and South America and uh, Latin America to where, you know, you're a rock star. Legend usually so means you're pretty old, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, speak, speaking of, of old, uh, you know, and not old, but uh, it was really Chuck Berry that, uh, that drew you to music. Funny enough, it's pop and you went toward jazz. How did that happen? Well, my dad used to dabble in the early 60s in Heath kits. For those of you who don't know what they are, they're just kind of self-assembled stereos. So he put one together and uh, he built the stereo system and then he started bringing, you know, albums home. And uh, one of the albums he had was the Chuck Berry um, album uh, with Chuck's version, version of Maybelline. And I knew from that moment on that's what I wanted to do. I had to get a guitar, and uh, that just kind of sucked me into the whole thing. So we want to, I, I don't know Kate wants to get a word in edgewise here, so I was waiting for her to go, Maybelline. I was ready for you just like, like to jump in. Kate, you and, uh, are a wonderful performer in and of yourself and have toured the world and, uh, and are famous to me for being the executive director now for about 10 years of uh, oh, OSPAC, the Oscar <laughs> Center. Uh, Schindler Center for the Performing Arts in West Orange, one of the most beautiful outdoor venues around, and you've been doing a wonderful job, and uh, the best part of what you've done is grab uh, jazz greats like Vic to, uh, to come perform up there. Yeah, it's been quite an adventure all these years, right? We're lucky to have him, you know, and um, uh, not only that, he's, he's also a great educator. In fact, he teaches Paul Simon, and... Um, and he works in our workshops. And you don't mean Paul amazing. Simon, the senator from Illinois, huh? You mean like the one, the he, Simon and Garfunkel guy? <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and, and um, so it's been really kind of fun working together with all the musicians and, and with Vic coming up with these programs because, um, and it's a nice venue to do it at, always at Oscar. It's fun to see you brag about your husband a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, and who else if not uh, you and all of us? And, and you mentioned Paul Simon, you being humble, saying a music consultant, but uh, the level of your uh, expertise goes with some of the most famous uh, musicians in the world uh, turn to you for a little bit of support. That's really neat. Let alone the young musicians you teach at Lehigh, uh, at Rutgers, uh, at the new school, I guess, uh, so uh, you're able to kind of get that next generation uh, to pass a little talent along to. Yeah, education in jazz has become a very big thing now. Um, I remember when I was coming up, there was only one college that uh, offered this type of thing, but now there must be at least a hundred nationwide, and uh, right in the tri-state area here, there's probably about, mm, I'd say about ten programs. You know, Vic, their, their uh, 40, 50 year career, whatever the exact numbers are, you know, how do you say one moment? But, uh, but share with us, like, what's a moment that just stands out? I, I would have to say uh, one great moment for me would probably be working with uh, Sarah Vaughn, wow. who, of course, is from Newark, New Jersey at Carnegie Hall. That was a, a big thrill. Uh, she was the consummate uh, performer you know, arranger and a uh, great musician. Usually with vocalists of that caliber, you, you would show up at a rehearsal and the musical director would um, conduct the whole rehearsal. But when I got there, she was sitting at the piano waiting for all the musicians to arrive and she conducted the whole thing. So she had the respect of everyone. Wow, that, that's really neat. It, and also working with Paul Simon, this has been going on now for about 10 years is, uh, is a lot of fun you know, working with him on some of his original music and, um, you know, getting an insight into his whole songwriting perspective and the way he, you know, he puts things together. And uh, so those are great, two great, let me ask you the same question. Speaking of another great uh, vocalist, what's the best career moment that you can reflect on? Um, hmm. I know. You know what? Um, I I'd say one of the best ones, you know, there's, there's, um, there's something that happens when you play music that happens rarely. Well, I mean, to, to capture the whole thing, it's when the spirit connects with, and you're almost outside of your body. And um, you know what I mean, Vic? Where you're not even there almost, 
And th that for me is, I, I remember that happened when we were in a concert in Italy once. We were playing together duo and we were, I think we were doing both sides now and you can feel it. It's an energy that passes through and it's, it's you could really actually see her floating around. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. That's right. I'm in the clouds. <laughs> hey, my, I, oh, I, I'm not a part of your really cool life. The boring meter goes off whenever I get near the two of you as it relates to me. But no, uh, my favorite on, Kate and Vic moment mm -hmm. was uh, at your home at a Christmas party. I saw you sing together. And I'll never forget that. I was oh. like, wow. <laughs> hey, I've got a, a couple of the latest. You know, I know there's been so many CDs that you have out. You've got uh, all that jazz. Uh, and you talked about education before. Uh, that's uh, somewhat of an instructive uh, piece that you have that's put out Yeah, there. this is a, a brand new, uh, I did a bunch of uh, video uh, columns for uh, actually Guitar World. They were on Comcast on demand for about two years. So this is a collection of all those uh, video columns, about 90 minutes that just came out. And so if you're a young person at home and want to, you know, learn from the best, uh, you can That's do it on video. That's available through uh, Guitar World. And, and this uh, is a brand new CD. Brand, alpha is the, uh, or Omega is the alpha, you see, that's the play on words. I, <laughs> I read it the wrong way. Uh, the CD's out now? Just came out. It's uh, available. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, there are no record shops anymore, so that's the way you got to do it. Now, it's also on iTunes. A lot of my stuff is on iTunes. Do you write your stuff? Like? I do. I write a lot of music. This new CD has about five originals and... Um, five uh, standard compositions. And, and as it relates to uh, you know, constantly you know, being on the road, how does that work for your life? I know you've got a European tour that's coming up. Uh, you just came back from California not too long ago after several weeks. Uh, do you love it? Do you love the people? Is it boring? What, talk to me about that. I love, the, uh, I love touring. It's, it's great to get out and, uh, you know, of course, meet people from all over the place. I, I like traveling. Some people like the, uh, they like the music, but they don't like the life. You know, I'm kind of in the center. You know, after two weeks, I'm anxious to get back. Well, when we're lucky, we get you both home because I know you, whether it's appearing across the river at Birdland or, uh, or locally at Cecil's or, or Trumpets, uh, VicJuris.com, that's the way that people at home can figure out how to find exactly. you locally? It'll be, uh, the site is in the process of being rebuilt. It should be up again real soon. Kate, how about you? Do you like when you travel? Probably not when Vic does, so then you, you, your jazz family traveling. comes around. <laughs> well, she just found out she's going on a trip with me to Puerto Rico in uh, March for a week, so. That's not too bad. It yeah. has its fringe benefits. Yeah, I was going to say, there's, uh, that's no heavy lift to be on the beaches <laughs> in March in, uh, in uh, Puerto Rico. Um, Kate, tell us uh, you know, what your future, what the plan might be. Oh, it's a couple fold. Um, Let's see, I just started a, um, a company called Dream, D-R-E-A-M, with, with two other women, and it's artist development well, that's for, great. You know, for pop and, um, and upcoming artists. So that's exciting, and we're partnering with um, different companies and things like that. And then um, I'll be doing some touring, and um, I'm in the studio right now. Uh, working on a record, and that's about it. And teaching at the new school, voice. It's all good. And and, uh, and, and Vic is going to do a little promoting for us for uh, Omega is the Alpha, and uh, get back to his touring. And uh, and Vic, continuing to bless the world with uh, with your talent. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, John. It's great to see you too. It's great to be Love together. Love the show. Best <laughs> of luck. Thanks uh, to the two of you. And. Uh,